Hello, I'm Philip Muggleston, and in this series of videos we're covering the predictive capabilities native to SAP HANA. In this video we're going to look at classification, specifically focus on the ABC algorithm. Now, the ABC allows us to classify data based on importance. Perhaps you want to find the top 10% of your customers or partners, perhaps the customers that generate most of the profit, that's very often true. So the ABC allows us to create three tiers or three groups of customer or whatever object it is you're looking at. A being the most important, B being that second level and C typically containing all the rest. So if we were to look at our customer example and we look at the customer data we've seen in some of the other videos, we can see that we've got here about 150 customers. And one of the pieces of information we've got for each customer is the lifetime spend. How much revenue have they brought us? And if we wanted to maybe find out who are the best customers based on the ones that have spent the most with us over their entire period, we could sort on life spend descending. So now we see, for example, Vincent Thomas is the number one customer. He spent more than anybody else during his lifetime with us as our customer. So ABC extends this approach by automatically grouping customers together into the A, B and C categories based on a percentage that we specify. So for example, we might want to see the top 10%, then the next 10%, and then the 80% the that represents all the rest as C. So ABC algorithm allows us to perform that analysis very quickly and easily. So here's some code that I already prepared. As always, um, check the uh, PAL reference guide to get full details on exactly what you need to put where. We're going to create a procedure called PAL underscore ABC, and we're going to call the ABC algorithm of the predictive analytics library, the PAL. And we've got two input tables. One is the source data which you need to have your customer or in fact whatever object it could be partner or it could be anything you want your classification based on uh, a character variable and then your numeric value which is needs to be a double in this case lifetime spend but it could be profit it could be revenue it could be number of uh, service calls it could be anything you want it to be however you want to to create your classification the parameter table is the same as always with the PAL, same structure. And then the result table contains basically a list of all of the items, in this case customers, with the specification of whether they belong in the A, B or C group. And that's going to be assigned by the procedure. So let's run that code. Pretty straightforward stuff. Off we go. So now we've generated that one time in the underscore sys underscore AFL schema the next thing we can do is set up our actual data now we saw the customer table already however the pal does expect to have two columns in the right order of the right type so we create a view to avoid actually physically moving the data over we just create a view in our own application schema the pal schema and what we can also do is create the parameter table and the result table as always we can use the table type used further above so we don't have to define these things twice it makes it a little easier and we can insert the parameters that we need for the ABC there are four parameters the thread number is common to many PAL algorithms and tells you basically allows you to control how many threads you want the process to run because of course this is running natively inside HANA in memory taking advantage of parallelism multi-threading multi-core processors so very very high performance with HANA and we have three other parameters, one each for each of the different percentages we want to assign to the A, B and C categories. We always have three categories here. So we use a double number here, so it's a double parameter value. And it basically it's a decimal representation of the percentage. So for percent A here we're saying give me the top 10% of customers based on the revenue, lifetime spend. For B percentage B give me the next 20% and for C give me all the rest which happens to be 70% 70 20 and 10 uh, add up to 100% that's all of the customers so we can run this code just to set that up off we go and then we can start having some fun and actually 
looking at what the algorithm will produce for us. So we can actually straight away run this. We've not run it already, so we can just go straight ahead, run the algorithm. Runs in a very, very fast time. Here we've got a relatively small data set just for, for showing the initial example. Let's refresh the table list. And we can see there is a table called ABC results. So let's have a look at the ABC results table. What we can see in the results is that we've got a list of all of the customers. However, they've been sorted and ranked according to the ABC category. So the top 10% of customers, as we asked for that, have been assigned to A. So that's the first 12 or so. And then the next lot get defined as the next uh, uh, slice, so to speak, of customers, the next group are B, and then all the rest at the end belong into the C group. In fact, if we were to look at the distinct values of ABC, here we can now see the different uh, allocations. We can see how many customers have been assigned to A, to B and C. So we can see that that top 10% of customers, that's an interesting segment. Maybe we want to target a promotion to them or we want to give them something special because they're, they're our best uh, revenue generators. Um, and we can see the distribution. It's not exactly uh, 10, 20 and 70%. That's because with a relatively small number, 150, it, it, the system has to do some kind of uh, 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 approximation. So it's tried its best to get to 10, 20, and um, uh, 70%. With a larger number, then you'll see that, that distribution being much more close to what, what was defined. And we can see 12 customers, 27 and 111, going into each of the three groups. So now we've seen one example, perhaps we want to maybe adapt that. Um, why don't we say, let's just get the top five customers, five percent of customers, and then the next 15% and then the rest, the 80% the that rests, why we will do an analysis that way. So we can just simply update our parameter table in this example. And of course we need to clear out the results table, otherwise it will simply just append the new results into the existing table. And now we can call the algorithm again. And again, it runs very quickly. And if we had to refresh, now we can see the distribution has changed. There are less in A, it's just the top 5% or so. And then we have some B and then a little bit more in C. So you can actually uh, iterate and tune and, and work out exactly how you want to create your classification based on what your individual business needs are. One further thing to say, this is all running in memory. It can deal with very large data volumes. We just ran against 150 customers. But you know, how will this work if we want to scale it up to, say, 1 million customers? Um, that's, a, that's a much bigger number. Well, it's very straightforward to do. In fact, we already have a table we saw in the K-means video with 1 million customers. So I can just recreate my view doing that. Now, of course, the view already exists, so I'm going to need to drop the view so drop view and recreate the view in the PAL schema okay so we drop and recreate the view and now we can simply run the analysis again this time against a different data source and the analysis is running and actually that ran a little bit quicker than I was expecting. It took just five seconds to process one million customers. So it did that grouping very quickly. So high performance, very scalable, the predictive analysis library. And this time, if we go to the results and we refresh, we'll see a much larger number of customers that have been assigned. So if we maybe wanted to identify even just our top 1,000 customers or we wanted to, do, to make a number of different groups, this would be a very easy and powerful way to do it. And of course, the PAL running inside of HANA means it's, it's performing as well as you could expect anywhere. It's a very high performance solution.